Next thing we're going to look at is hooking up a laser to this board. This board is designed for Gerbil 0 0.9. We are running Gerbil 1.1 in it though, so there's a pin swap. And this is very important for those of you who use the latest firmware with this board. I'll explain that here. So first I'm going to I'm going to hide uh, hide the camera here and we'll go through some websites. Okay. So first of all, this is Gerbil 1.1 here, okay? Here's the wiki page. This is Gerbil 0 0.9, okay? So connecting Gerbil, we'll take a look at this here, okay? And it gives you warnings about this up here, right? So on the pinouts, we'll see everything's in a row, right? Pulse X, pulse Y, pulse Z, direction X, direction Y, direction Z, limit X, limit Y, limit Z, right? Pretty straightforward, pretty uh, pretty organized, okay? The problem is spindle enable here is on pin 12, okay? If you look to the left side, there's this little squiggly. It's called a tilde. When a pin has a tilde next to it, that means that it can do something called PWM or pulse width modulation. It's basically like dimming, okay? So it can actually dim that pin. If you look at 12 here, spindle is not, it does not have that tilde there. So you connect laser lasers to the spindle enable. That's how you get these things to work. So when I put voltage on pin 12, it either turns on the spindle, turns on the laser, turns on your CO2 laser, right? Turns on a plasma torch, whatever you want. This five volt pin triggers that, okay? The problem with this one is it doesn't dim. So this is Gerbil 0 0.9, okay? Now, if you look at 11, 11 does have that. So what they did on the latest version, we'll go look at that here. So we'll come over here, look at connecting. Connecting, there it is. <laughs> All right. So you'll see they switched it, right? Now the Z pin is on 12 and the variable spindle PWM is on 11. Okay. So they updated that on uh, in the firmware here. But the board we're using isn't designed for Gerbil 1.1. It's designed for Gerbil 0 0.9. So what we can do, though, is instead of using that spindle enable pin we can use the Z limit pin on the shield instead. So let's take a look at that here. So if you look here on the right side, the white side is a, is a signal. The black side here, the, all these black pins are ground, okay? If you look at your shield, you'll see that. So what I have here is an LED hooked up to Z plus and the ground of the LED to the black side of the ground. I also have a laser connection here hooked up. Right now, I'm just gonna run the LED to show you and then I'll run the laser in a little bit here, okay? So let's go to laser gerbil and look at some settings here. If I have a laser, it can do a few things. Uh, or a gerbil can do a few things. It can, uh, when you pause it, it can turn the laser off, right? So in this, with the spindle, you don't necessarily want to turn that spindle off while you're cutting, right? Because if you're cutting and you stop and the spindle stops, you hit start. Before the spindle's even, you know, warmed up, you know, up to speed, it's moving. And then uh, you're not going to chunk things out right. You're not going to mechanically remove things correctly. But with the laser... If that laser is still on while it stopped, it's just going to keep burning through the material, right? So one of the safety features with laser mode is it stops the laser when you're paused. It also enables this thing called uh, dynamic laser power. And I go over that in a laser gerbil tutorial video, but I'm not going to go over it here. Okay, so let's take a look at our settings here. Okay, so I'm going to type in money, money into my register or into my console to look at my registers. Here we have 32 right here. 
There it is. 32 equals laser or is laser mode enabled, right? It equals zero. Currently, it's not in laser mode. It's just in regular spindle mode. So that means that I can just turn that laser on. Like, I don't need to turn on anything else. I can just turn that laser on, right? So to turn the laser on, that's a spindle command. That's an M3, right? Once I type in M3, that laser is on at zero power, right? M5, that laser is off. Okay, so I'm going to turn on M3 again, or turn M3 again, so that the laser's on at zero power. To set the power, that's your S command, okay? Now, if I look at my my 30, my register 30, 1,000 is my maximum spindle speed or maximum laser power, right? So if I tell this thing to be S1000, it's going to turn that laser on full blast or that LED on full blast, right? So I'm going to type that in, S1000. And that light is green, <laughs> right? That is on, okay? So I can type in M5 again, right? And that LED's off, M3, LED's back on, right? Okay. So I can also type in S500. So now it's on at half power. I don't know if you saw that dim. I'll do S1000. Hit enter. Light's really bright, S500. Light's a little dimmer, okay? We can even go down to like S4, right? Now it's crazy dim, <laughs> right? So it's able to actually dim the laser or the LED wherever you need it to be, right? So you get great grayscale images going line to line. Okay, so I just showed you this little part here, right? I'm gonna turn it off with an M5 command. I'm gonna set my S back to zero, right? Everything's reset. Now what I'm gonna do is turn on laser mode. So 32 currently equals zero. I'm gonna turn register 32, so money sign 32 equals one. Now we're in laser mode, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is type in M3, S, well, type in M3, right? Laser's on at zero power, S1000, okay? And that shouldn't have turned on. <laughs> With a G0, oh, sorry, G0, there we go, okay. So normally we're in G0, it must have been in G1. Must have set that a while back, okay. My bad, so typically the machine's in G0 unless you're moving, then it's in G1, okay. So I guess to test that, I'll reset everything, right? Reset the controller, okay, unlock it, here we go. For reals this time, M3, enter, S1000. Okay, that light is off, perfect. Okay, that's because it's not in a move command right now. Well, it's not in a, a move at a feed rate command right now. And that's a little tough to explain. <laughs> if you look up my tutorial on making buttons for laser gribble, I go into that pretty deep. But if I type in G1, and a feed rate of 500, F500, now this light is on, okay? The light only turns on during move commands, during uh, move at a certain feed rate commands, and that's because the laser typically doesn't need to be on while this thing's moving at max speed, okay? It's usually at a set speed that the laser's on. That might be a little confusing, but I hope you understand that. Okay, so M3 turns it on, right? M5 turns it off. Okay, so I'm going to hit play here on my program, right? Hit play. And currently, it looks like it's set to S255 on my data stream here, so which is about a quarter brightness. But it's on here, right? So when I hit pause down here, it turns the laser off, right? Which is very good, which is what we want, right? When you pause it, the laser turns off. I'm going to hit resume. Laser turns right back on. Okay. I'm going to stop this and abort it here. Hit reset. Unlock it. Okay. Now I'm going to turn laser mode off here. Money sign 32 equals zero. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to spell that right, I guess. There we go. Okay. So it's back off. I'm going to reset zero here. Hit play. Start from beginning. Sure. Okay. Now it's running this thing, right? I'm going to hit pause. 
and we got an issue here, right? Because now the laser or the LED is still on, which is a danger, right? Because you're pausing it. Now it's just going to start punching through, or you have a really dark spot there, right? So that's the difference right there. One of the big differences between laser mode and not laser mode is a pause function. So I'm going to stop this, abort this. Guess I'll empty the buffer. Cool. Okay. Reset this. There we go. Okay. Unlock it. And change that back to money sign 32 equals 1. Put it back in the laser mode. Okay. So next thing we're going to look at is that S Max. Okay. Underneath this shield here is an Atmega 328P, which is basically an R it, it is an Arduino Uno board, which means it has 8 bit PWM dimming. So. I'll do the math real fast for you. 2 to the power of 8 is 256, okay? So that's basically 2 times, oh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, basically, right? Equals 256. If you do 2 times itself 8 times, it comes out to 256, okay? So that means that it can dim from 0 to 255. Machines don't start numbers at 1. Machines start number at 0. So even though in, in my head and my math, you know, 2 to the power of 8 is 256, that actually means that the maximum value is 255 because it starts at 0. Okay, why is that important? I'll show you here. Because that's the actual resolution of dimming we have. Now, I know 1,000 is kind of easy to remember, but I like to set my my register 30 to 255. And that's just to keep my buffer clean. And I will have a video on why that's important <laughs> one of these days. Because we have to go deeper into how Gerbil works for that. But basically, if it's a really dim area and it's changing from, let's say S max is 1000, right? And it's changing from 2 to 3. Well, there's no difference in brightness between 2 to 3 if the max is 1,000, okay? Because that is the same brightness. And so it's really just filling up this buffer. It's just giving it unnecessary data, right? When I set the S max to 255, any change to that number is going to change the brightness of the laser, okay? So that's why I set it like that. Okay, so what I have here now... So I got the LED hooked up, right? And you can you can see it, you know, get brighter and dimmer. Next thing I have is an actual laser, right? This is a five and a half watt laser AliExpress from OX Lasers. All right, I haven't actually tried this out yet, but it's beefy. <laughs> it's it's really big uh, and kind of heavy, which is good for cooling, but lame for moving, right? So. Chances are I'd probably have this thing by itself on a laser. I wouldn't double it up with another one. Anyways, what I'm going to do here is plug it in. I've got the PWM, the yellow cable, hooked up to Z minus. Z minus and Z plus are the exact same pin on the Arduino here. I've got the ground, the black one, set to the ground on here, the black set. And then I got red pulling the 12 volts out of this uh, separate motor driver here. Okay, so I'm going to plug this laser in. This will be the first time I plug this in. Hopefully this works, like, on video, right? <laughs> okay. It's plugged in. Don't see any fan motion. I think I got that plugged in right. Hmm. Okay. Nope, let's give it a try here. I might not have this. Oh, you know what? I don't have 12 volts going to the board. That'd be why. Okay, I'm going to plug that in. There's my 12 volts. Cool. Okay. So here I go. Plugging it in. You can kind of see it on the side of the camera here. <laughs> okay. Here I go. Plugging it in. There we go. That laser is on. That's a loud fan. But it's a smooth fan. 
as it's spinning, I don't feel the laser vibrating at all, so that's nice. Some of these fans are kind of crummy, and they'll literally, like, vibrate the laser, <laughs> and that'll affect the engraving. Okay, so laser's definitely on. Okay, definitely powered up. Now what we can do here is just getting the same signal as this LED is, right? So if the LED is on, the laser should be on. So currently we have laser mode enabled, right? So M3 turns laser mode on, right? Or turns the laser on, but at zero power, right? Now I'm going to type in S5, but it's not going to do anything, right? Yeah, nothing's on because it's not in a move command, okay? It's still in G0. So I'm going to type in S0 again and M5 to turn the laser off. Now we're going to do G1 F500, right? Now it's in a move mode. So I'm going to type in M3 and G, or sorry, and S5. And now it's going to turn both these on, right? Leash is not quite on. doesn't quite have enough power for that. Let's type in S30. Still nothing. Okay. Oh. Okay. Laser has an activate button, an on button. <laughs> Whoa. So back to S0. Make sure it actually works. Yep. That is definitely a bright laser. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Well, you guys can see the, the reflection off that. So S5. Enter. Okay, you guys can see it's sort of a blue light coming off, off the wall there. That is a very rectangular beam, though. That's kind of lame. We don't want rectangular beams. We want nice circular beams. So that beam's going to be hard to work with to get it to cut. Okay? So if we get it to the smallest point, it's still going to be rectangular and not be a very good cut. So kind of bummed out about that, but it's bright. <laughs> okay, anyways. So that's at 5 power, right? Let's turn it all the way up. 255. S255. That is crazy bright. Whoa. <laughs> that is a lot of light output. Okay. Should probably be wearing safety glasses with this. <laughs> Anyways, back to S1. Very dim. Oh, okay, my vision's coming back. <laughs> cool. Anyways, hopefully this explains how to hook up a laser to this board. So use Z plus or Z minus for the PWM outputs. Right, there's a ground right next to it. And then give it 12 volts to the actual laser here. Give it 12 volts and ground. And you'll be firing. Anyways, thanks for watching.